Hi, it's Priam here from uh, Niche Advice, hope you're well. Um, I actually recorded a video last week and it really touches on all the sort of uh, property training courses and property millionaire type and property guru types that you see on uh, YouTube. What I think about some of those channels, um, what I think people should do. Um, it was just a bit reflective of what's going on at the moment and how people are being drawn in to a lot of the online marketing strategies that are around. Um, so yeah, do let me know what you think about it. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, all the best. Thank you. I'm here from Niche Advice. Um, I'm going to address some of the um, uh, some of the issues that I see with YouTube and, uh, and some of the people, uh, some of the experts uh, out there that deal with property. Um, you've got some really, really good ones. Um, you've got the chat from Baker Street uh, Property Gathering. I, I really like his videos. I, I actually sent him a message to say that I really, really like his videos because um, he's trying to bring in experts um, and they talk about various um, uh, various things, whether it's to do with tax changes, whether it's to do with uh, planning permissions, whether it's to do with uh, you know getting into commercial property and so forth. And I find them useful. You've got to... Um, uh, obviously, with a lot of these trainings, there's Touchstone. I find their their, their videos useful um, in regards to training. Um, you've even got Samuel Leeds out there, uh, and he's obviously he's by far the biggest one out there in terms of reach. He's managed to communicate very very well to a lot of the people. Um, so you know you've got uh, you've got some uh, uh, interesting content at, at the moment uh, with regard. And then you've got YouTubers. You've got lots of YouTubers that are you know talking about you know how to improve your credit report because they can get you know uh, some affiliate links there or how how they bought their first property and they've put that out there how they've you know invested in properties and, uh, and done, done deals so there's lots of sort of I would call influencers and there's different types of um, content being put out there about property okay and some of them are, are useful and some of them are not frankly and you've got to take everyone's content including mine um, and you've got to understand where our angle is are you know what are we trying to what are we trying to portray to yourselves okay um, what is the person uh, trying to get out of when they're making that video so the training people are obviously trying to get you to you know they'll give you that information they may give you 60% uh, of the information that you need to know and then they will say okay well 40% information is very useful um, you obviously know it's useful because they haven't given you that information, but they've given you some snippets of that information and they would say, well, for more information, you need to book a course with us and we'll tell you everything and you know, you can become an expert. Just give us a couple of grand. So that's their angle. You've got the YouTubers where they're trying to, you know, get you to click on a link or, you know, send you to an affiliate link or just trying to make money to grow their audience. Okay. So, um, and that's fine and that's legitimate and 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 then there's people like me who are brokers who are trying to give you that information but essentially by the end of it the underlying tone is give me a call you know so we're all we're all trying to do something no one's doing this for free for no reason okay so my uh, what i would say and, and they all badmouth each other you know you got the you got the property guys that are badmouthing each other you've got other guys that are doing this and no he's wrong he's right but fundamentally, I would say is you need to be watching all of them. If you're interested in property, you need to be watching everybody's videos because they they all have got information within them. But you've just can take everything with a pinch of salt. OK, um, you know, you've got to then once you dissect some of that information, once you know what their where their angle is, once you dissect some of the information that's provided um, and then you can move on and you can you can educate yourself from multiple seats it doesn't matter you know if you're a person that's watching Samuel Leeds for example it doesn't mean that you can't watch my videos it doesn't mean you can't watch uh, uh, Touchstone I think it's a Touchstone training it doesn't mean you can't watch them it doesn't mean you can't watch Baker Street Property Gathering because I think they're all useful okay and yes they, they may you know badmouth each other or some of uh, sometimes however um, I think if you're into property you've got to get different perspectives okay just like in politics and everything you know just because you're on the left it doesn't mean that you have to watch everything that's on the left just because you're on the right doesn't mean you have to agree with everybody on the right i think you need to subscribe to each other so you know what other person's saying 
Okay, where's where's the other angle? Okay, what what, what are they doing? You know, just because um, you know, so for example, I've been a I've been a property landlord for coming up to twenty years. Okay, I'm a mortgage broker, um, but you know, there are lots of things I've learned personally from by watching their videos. Okay, uh, and I deal with this. Um, that doesn't mean that um, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. It just means that they they've specialized in certain things that I I, I don't. OK, um, however, there are certain things that they may say that I don't agree with because because maybe I do it. I do it day in, day out in terms of maybe the financing side of things, in terms of converting things and how easy things are, um, because I, I get a different perspective. I get the cause when things go wrong. Uh, um, because people are trying to refinance and they're stuck in, you know, bridging finance, for example, or development finance and so forth. So, you know, you've, you've got, but the thing is, my, the moral of the story is, is obviously watch all of them, subscribe to all of them, um, because uh, it does make things interesting. And by educating yourselves, um, uh, and not just, I'm not talking about, you know, this is a free service. Essentially, you can say, Bob, you know, I've taken that information, thank you very much, and I'm gone, you know, I'll use my own broker. That's fine, uh, and you will get hundreds of those. In fact, the problem that I'm getting is a lot of the people have used their own brokers and now watching my videos and saying, do you know what, I should have used you. And then they're coming to me and saying, well, I'm saying to them, well, honestly, you've taken your advice, you've gone for a mortgage, you've gone direct. What else do you want from me? You know, oh, we just wanted some reassurance. Well, I'm not the Citizen Advice Bureau, you know, so at the end of the day, there's got to be a bit of give and take here. Um, but what I would say is definitely watch everything. Definitely comment on, on their stuff. Definitely have your own views. You know, you might think they're, they're con artists. If that's the case, that's fine. Uh, but you might think that, you know, I'm talking nonsense and your broker is much better. That's fine as well. Um, but, you know, there will be a certain amount of people that will watch various videos and, make, you know, they should make their own mind up rather than just sign on the dotted, one, the dotted line with one one channel and that's it, subscribe to one channel. Um, yeah, a bit of reflective this one. I hope you found this useful. Do let me, actually, let me know if you can uh, who you watch, who you subscribe to. There might be someone that I need to subscribe to myself. So let me, let me, let me know who you found useful. Um, what strategies you believe are, are working? Do you think property investments are actually the right way to go? Is there something else? You know, over the years, you've seen all sorts of things. You know, I've, I've gone through, you know, pyramid sellings. You've gone through timeshare sort of stuff. You've gone through um, convert your pension, you know, and, and, and turn it into properties. You've gone through um, the various things of, you know, Forex training and become millionaires very, very quickly. You've gone to, you know, there's all sorts of, there's trends, okay? There's lots and lots of trends. There's herbal life, I remember that one. You know, there's lots of things where, you know, you go and go and, you know, network mar marketing and stuff. So you used to, you used to get a lot of those sort of different uh, aspects. Obviously, I, I tend to see property now um, almost with the with YouTube coming into that, you know, um, you know, you can become rich and certainly people have become very, very wealthy out of property um, and you can do very well out of it. But um, my my um, my worry is there are some people that are getting into property for the wrong reasons and don't have the backing and we're going to go through. And it's great in the last 10 years. And a lot of those people in the last 10 years have had made good money, they've made good investments, they bought at the right time. But I think we're gonna go through a, a turbulent time. So yes, you can make money uh, in this market. In fact, you can make a lot of money in this market, but you've got to know the risks in this market. There'll be, for every person that's making money, there may be 50 people that are gonna lose money. Um, so it's very, very important. Um, you educate yourself, you watch everybody, see what they're doing, see what their angle is, see where they're coming from, and make your own uh, choice. Thank you so much. Take care.